Thomas had just shunted Annie and Clarabelle into a siding when a new rail to a train arrived. The coaches bumped and rattled behind the large engine pulling the train. Oh, goodness me, said Annie. What a terrible racket, remarked Clarabelle. I'm sure the passengers will be cross, added Thomas. He was right. As soon as the train arrived at the platform, the passengers swarmed around the rail to a manager, complaining about how bumpy their ride was. Thomas chuckled. I'll see you later. I'm off to collect some trucks. And Thomas puffed happily away. Annie and Clarabelle watched from their siding as the rail to a manager spoke to the large engine. Garrett, he said sternly, our passengers have complained about how roughly you handle the coaches. I don't know how many times we've been over this. I'm sorry, sir, said Garrett. I do try to pull them smoothly, but I get so nervous. You must try not to get nervous again, said the rail tour manager. Otherwise, I may have to arrange for someone else to take the rail tour back home. Garrett rolled sadly into the yard beside Annie and Clarabelle. The two coaches decided to cheer him up. Hello, they said warmly. I'm Annie, and I'm Clarabelle. Who are you? Hello, said the engine mournfully. I'm Garrett. We overheard what the rail tour manager said, said Annie. Have you ever pulled coaches before? asked Clarabelle. I mostly pulled goods trains, Garrett explained. I did pull coaches once, but it was a very long time ago. I want to be useful and pull them smoothly. But I get so nervous about whether I'm doing it right that I end up bumping them about. Perhaps you're just in need of some practice, suggested Clarabelle. Why don't we try to help you? asked Annie. Would you? Really? said Garrett. Of course, replied the coaches. This is your rail tour. We'd hate to see you being replaced for the homeward journey. So Garrett was coupled to the coaches. He was nearly ready to start when Thomas rushed into the yard. Oi! Those are my coaches! he shouted. Give them back! Don't be rude, Thomas, Annie said sternly. Garrett here needs our help. We're showing him how to pull coaches smoothly, explained Clarabelle. If he can't by tomorrow, the rail tour manager will replace him. Thomas looked at Garrett. He didn't want him to be replaced either. Oh, all right, he said, as long as you're careful with them. I will, said Garrett, I promise. Garrett was soon off and away down the line with Annie and Clara. At first, things were fine as he slowly trundled along. Try going a bit faster, dearie, said Annie. So Garrett went faster, but he soon started to feel nervous again. He didn't want to hurt Annie and Clarabelle. It was too late, though. The coaches bumped and battled behind him. Oh no, Garrett! Too rough, Garrett! The coaches wailed. Slow down, Garrett! Slow down! Garrett slowed to a stop. The coaches were gravely shaken. You can't get nervous like that when you're pulling coaches, panted Annie. Oh no, Garrett sighed. I seem to do well when I go slow, but I end up getting nervous when I go faster. Let's try again, sighed Clarabelle. But remember, don't get too nervous. So they tried again. But no matter how hard he tried, he kept getting nervous and bumped and jittered the coaches all the way back to Napoli. Annie and Clarabelle were exhausted. Garrett, fumed Thomas, you said you'd take care of them. I tried, Thomas, I really did, Garrett pleaded. He just gets so nervous, moaned Annie and Clarabelle together. I suppose there's no use, Garrett sighed. The rail tour manager will have another engine pull the train home. 
Garrett sat in the yard, feeling very sorry for himself. If only I didn't get so nervous when I pulled coaches, he thought to himself. I've never had this issue with goods. Then, Donald pulled in the long, heavy goods train. He looked very puffed out. He then noticed Garrett. Oi, you, shouted Donald. Garrett looked up. Me? he asked. Hey, said Donald. And that's a wheel man. I cannot go no further with these pesky trucks. They'll do for the docks. Please help if you can. Don't worry, said Garrett. I'll help. Garrett was soon coupled up to Donald, and together they rolled away with the long line of trucks. Garrett, being very experienced with heavy goods trains, made easy goings of it as he took the strain of the trucks. Donald was very impressed. Soon the train arrived at the docks. Thank you, Garrett, said Donald, who was most grateful for the help. That's all right, said Garrett, between heavy pants. I must add, you make smooth goings with those trucks, added Donald, probably the smoothest run I've ever seen. Garrett suddenly realised. Of course, he cheered, now I know how to pull coaches. And he raced away, leaving Donald wondering what coaches had to do with goods trains. Annie, Clarabelle, Garrett called out, thankful to find them up the line with Thomas. I've figured it out. All I have to do is pretend coaches are goods trains. What do you mean? asked the coaches. I helped Donald with a goods train, he explained, and I didn't get nervous once. I'd like to try it with you. Please? I'm not so sure, said Thomas. Oh, please, pleaded Garrett. It'll just be once more. All right, Thomas said cautiously, but no more after this. So Garrett was coupled to Annie and Clarabelle. The coaches braced themselves. But to their surprise, there was no bumping or jittering, even when Garrett ran quickly down the line. It was smooth all the way through. They didn't stop until they pulled into Knapford. The rail tour manager was surprised to see Garrett pulling coaches and that they weren't being bumped about. Garrett, he said. However, you doing this? I just imagine the coaches are trucks, Garrett explained. I'm not nervous when I pull them. Well, said the rail tour manager, sounding very impressed. If you're able to be smooth with these coaches, then I don't see why you can't take the rail to a train home. Hooray! cheered Annie and Clarabelle. Well done, Garrett! <whistles> yes, yes, that's all well and good, huffed Thomas finally pulling up. Now give me back my coaches!